Well, Australia may have taken a hit from the slowdown in China, but that hasn't stopped the country's finance minister remaining upbeat about the future. Matthias Corbin spoke to Bloomberg's Francine Lacroix at the IMF annual meeting in Lima, and he told her he's confident that growth will pick up again. China is our most important trade relationship and at 6.8 percent growth uh, as indicated by the IMF that is very strong growth by uh, international standards uh, we are very supportive uh, uh, as a country of uh, Chinese efforts to of course uh, move from uh, investment driven growth to uh, more sustainable uh, domestic consumption driven growth we understand that there is uh, a process to go through and there's some challenges along the way but uh, we are optimistic about uh, the uh, way forward when you talk about challenges you're talking about turbulence. Are you confident that actually the officials have a good handle on the Chinese economy? Well, when you go through a massive uh, structural change like this, when you go through a massive adjustment at that scale, of course there are going to be some issues along the way. Uh, but uh, looking at the fundamentals, uh, what we see is continuing strong growth, uh, building on very strong growth in the past, uh, and uh, you know a, a very serious uh, and, and dedicated effort uh, to make that sustainable growth uh, into the future. And we're very supportive of that reform effort. How concerned are you? commodities? Uh, well, I mean, Australia is a trading nation. We are used to the fact that, uh, you know, the, we don't control global prices for our key commodities. And uh, that is why we're always so focused on making sure that we are uh, competitive internationally, that we are as resilient as possible to deal with uh, external shocks, but also as in the best possible position to take advantage of opportunities. Now, our system is geared to deal with uh, significant uh, fluctuations. But it's been in tough. Well, sure. Uh, it, it, you know, there are some external challenges that we're dealing with, but the Australian economy continues to grow. Uh, we are into our 25th year of continuous growth, and uh, if you look at uh, what the reasons are for that, I mean, our system uh, with an independent reserve bank setting monetary policy, with uh, a floating exchange rate which is able to adjust uh, to a change in terms of trade. I mean, we are dealing with the biggest fall in our terms of trade uh, in uh, about 50 years, and obviously. Uh, Increases in production volumes and reductions in the value of the Australian dollar has helped cushion the effect of that. Uh, and the Australian government is very focused on pursuing policy reform to make us more competitive, more productive, uh, to help us get better access to our key markets. We're pursuing a very ambitious free trade agenda with China, yeah. uh, Japan, Korea. Minister, because the commodities have fallen by so much right, in recent months, does it actually have an impact on your budget? Uh, well, uh, it, it has had an impact which has been uh, you know, published in the past on our revenue collections, of course. And, uh, uh, you know, in Australia, our budget uh, is still on track to get back to surplus uh, in a reasonable timetable, uh, despite uh, the uh, significant uh, drops um, in revenue on the back of falling commodity right. prices. The TPP is locked down. The China FTA hasn't been signed off yet. Will both be signed off by the end of the year? Uh, well, uh, any any measure, any initiative that uh, improves free trade, that liberalises trade, is good for Australia. We are a trading nation, and to be able to get better access for exporters into some of those key markets. I mean, the TPP, we are one of 12 countries uh, representing about 40 percent of the world economy. Uh, for our exporters to get better access and uh, more competitive access to all of those markets is good for our economy, it's good for jobs in Australia. So, uh, you know, from the government's point of view, we want to see uh, both uh, the TPP and the uh, China-Australia Free Trade Agreement approved by our parliament uh, as soon as possible.